Welcome to the third presentation of integration using trigonometric identities and uh, how to solve this question. Uh, to solve any integration question by using uh, trigonometric uh, formula, you know, uh, there should be direct formula if present, if available, you know, if, if the integrand is in direct formula format, then simply we'll be using the formula and that's it. And, and, and that's happiest news mm -hmm. and shortest news and shortest trick and the shortest and the shortest step and the shortest step as well and the shortest step as well but here we don't have now our integrand in the direct formula format right direct formula format i mean to say we don't have any any formula for let's say sine theta dot cos theta d theta we don't have direct formula for this so since we don't have the direct standard formula of integration uh for this integrand then we have to work out here and we need to convert this into a such a form that there we can use the standard formula of integration uh, for the trig functions you know that we have learned the sixth standard formula so you can check out in the two videos back there i have explained about that okay so uh what can we do now hmm again i need to take the help of my brain so mr brain can you suggest me which trigonometric identity is applicable here oh yes daniel you can use this one uh, 2 sin a cos b oh yes yes 2 sin a cos b is equals to sin a plus b and plus sin a minus b wonderful thank you mr brain and now i'm gonna use this so sin a cos b is going to be 1 by 2 sin a plus b plus sine a minus b and now my dear friend if you take a look very seriously sine 3x and uh, cos 4x so 3x if i'm imagining like a and 4x if i'm imagining as a b then then isn't this like uh sine 3x times cosine 4x equals to 1 by 2 you know this is bracket so let me keep here bracket uh so it's going to be sine a plus b that is 3x plus 4x that is yes 7x plus sine 3x minus 4x that is negative of x right and that's 1 by 2 sine 7x and sine minus of x that is minus sine x all right and now this i'm going to use here so my integral will be now now my integral i will be uh, in the place of sine 3x cos 4x dx i'm going to write uh, 1 by 2 sine 7x minus sine x times dx all right and now we can easily 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 solve this you know because we know our standard trigonometric formula of integration that is integration of sine theta is minus co uh, cos cosine minus cosine theta plus constant right because derivative of minus cosine theta is sine theta so now it's half outside integration of sine 7x with respect to x and again integration half will you know this half will multiply this one as well as this one so half integration of sine x dx and that's 1 by 2 and integration of sine 7x is cosine of 7x negative cosine of 7x and you know that you need to you need to divide by the derivative of 7x that's 7 okay and again plus some constant let's say constant one and again uh minus half all right uh derivative of sine x that's minus cosine of x and again uh you can divide by the derivative of this angle that is one so no need to divide i was just trying to uh make the similar as i did like that all right uh okay so now let's give the finalization so integral our integration is mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. 2 times 7 minus 14 so cosine of 7x divided by 14 plus c1 by 2 minus minus plus cosine of x by 2 and minus c2 by 2 and our final answer is let me write this first 1 by 2 cosine of x minus 1 by 14 cosine of 7x and these two are arbitrary constants so let's write c okay and that's our solution and this is how we need to solve always we need to use some trigonometric 
identity is trigonometric formula to solve this type of uh, integration question all right and if there is any confusion any doubt anything you need to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video and never forget to like the video and subscribe the channel bye bye